Stress chemicals have a half-life, and many of them are released for situations that aren't actually dangerous. Cortisol, your primary stress hormone, has a half-life of about 60 to 90 minutes. This means that once your body releases it, it can take hours to clear from your system. This was designed for survival, real survival, running from danger, running from predators. And this is the part that you really need to know. Your brain can trigger the exact same chemical cascade from things that are not actually threats at all. A tense email, traffic, someone's tone, a story that you've been replaying in your head. Your biology doesn't know it's just an inbox. It reacts as if your life is on the line. So we end up flooding our bloodstream full of a hormone that is meant for emergencies, for things that aren't emergencies. A threat that only exists in our thoughts. But this part is empowering. Awareness interrupts that loop. The moment that you recognize this is not danger, this is just my mind, your body begins shifting out of threat mode. You reclaim energy that was leaking into stress chemistry, and you reinvest it in clarity, presence, and actual life. The real question really is, if stress has a half-life, how much of yours is wasted on things that don't deserve your energy?